Yo, 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 it's your boy Crypto Blood. How you guys doing today? Um, today, I actually uh, ended up going, uh, not today, but yesterday, I went and purchased or replaced the camera that I, um, that I, that I bought over the weekend. I thought it was kind of blurry around the edges and uh i wasn't the only one that noticed that i asked for feedback from from you guys and one of my subs actually told me the video looked crappy so i appreciate it smug man i think your name is shout out to you uh bro for for definitely uh giving that feedback and uh you weren't the only one that thought that i thought that as well so i did get a new one uh let me know smug man how, how this one looks um today we are going to be talking about um, bitcoin from the standpoint of uh, the investment um, environment and how it may be changing and uh, let's let's kind of take a look at that so um this is out of coinbase i'm sorry coindesk and the article states uh, fully vet fully invested always long big money might be changing the crypto market so it looks like the hodl uh effect may be going away here ladies and gentlemen let's see what this article says i'm this is a dry run i have not uh reviewed this article but the title of it really intrigued me so i wanted to check it out and uh have a dialogue with you guys on that so uh, as institutional investors pile into crypto space uh, they may be altering the underlying dynamics of the market itself. Uh, by virtue of buying in, institutional investors are pushing prices up, and that's likely to continue as these investors place bets in a way that furthers an already bullish cycle. Many have bu uh, labeled as a, bu a bubble, actually. Um, I don't think we're, we're in a bubble yet. There's just not enough participants just quite yet uh, every asset as I've stated in the past I, I know I have new subs but every asset at some point goes through a, a cycle of um, boom and bust and uh, at some point in the future we definitely will have a bubble in cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin but in my humble opinion I don't think we are there just yet um, the article goes on to say, uh, bearing mountains of cash and a mindset unlike retail investors, crypto hedge funds are being directed to invest all or most of their cash. And without sophisticated mechanisms for shorting cryptocurrencies, retail investors have limited options and excessive risk, risk in betting on price decreases um I, I i totally i totally agree with that like um i said this in actually an, another video of mine and i'll try to find it and, and link it at the bottom but I, I i really thought that as institutional um funds and monies started to flow into bitcoin and the altcoins and uh tokens and stuff we would see um you know, we, we would see a, a price rise, um, but at what cost? So Matthew Goetz, co-founder of new cryptocurrency fund Block Tower Capital, affirmed the impact of this buying pressure uh, is likely to continue to mean the cryptocurrency market doesn't have uh, doesn't behave like those of more mature assets. And um, here's a quote from the uh, interview that Coindesk had with Goetz. As more capital comes into the space from a market structure standpoint, whether it's funds or some other structure, that will likely be a bullish catalyst for prices. Um, the bullish comments were echoed by Thomas Koninchenko, co-founder of Protos, uh, cryptocurrency asset management who believes the mechanisms mechanisms at play are working to push cryptocurrency prices skyward even more short trading challenges um, even before I read this part uh, 
shorting is a very critical and in my opinion necessary aspect of any market um, a more advanced sophisticated market so uh, shorting will help um, smooth out price volatility volatility um, and really kind of you know smooth out everything and it won't be as many wild spikes up and down and uh, I can't wait to be able to short but I, I you know there are some people that you, you can short currently but from an institutional standpoint uh, you're unable to short in Bitcoin just quite yet so uh, it's just not enough liquidity for uh, shorting to really happen on a mass um, level because in order to short you have to have someone that is willing to uh, essentially uh, let you borrow their Bitcoin um, and then you give it back to them hopefully at a lower price and you keep the difference that's all shorting is um, so let's let's see what else this this uh, article talks about here fully invested or not not on, not only will institutional investors be unlikely to short cryptocurrencies but the primary driver of staying fully invested is also pushing prices higher people don't want to pay don't want to pay you for holding cash protos um, CEO says in traditional markets hedging mechanisms likely uh, like highly liquid derivatives markets are used to manage the risk of being fully invested in the cryptocurrency space investing fully in the markets would add additional upward pressure on prices so the, the article just kind of goes on and uh, the final paragraph in the article sums up the result is that while not quite the wild west the crypto asset class still has a long way to go before it behaves in a way familiar to the mainstream um, I would say we're still in the wild wild west with cryptos um, seeing the type of returns that you're able to achieve currently in cryptos is phenomenal uh, I heard Mike B talk about yesterday in one of his videos how people you know they <laughs> they think 2x is like ah that's that's not enough return that is insane return like I don't think people understand to get a 2x return is phenomenal like I I would I wish I could get 2x returns or used to be able to get 2x returns on a regular basis um, with and, and not only in a, on a, in a regular basis on a regular basis but in such a short time frame so 2x is is very is is very very good uh, return on your capital and um, but we're seeing 5x 10x uh, you know 20x you know in in, in regards to veritasium and, and populace has, have, has done very well as as well so you know people i think have this um almost normalcy bias when it comes to cryptocurrencies and what i want everyone to know is that this will not last um kind of what this article is hinting toward once cryptocurrencies become mainstream we will not see these types of returns and you will have to work harder for your alpha um, that's just it is what it is and that's the nature of markets so um, don't take this time period we're in for granted people please <laughs> um, like and subscribe and if you do subscribe please click that bell and that will ensure that you are alerted for every upload uh, that crypto blood uh, does to his youtube channel and look at me talking in third person um, also please follow me on steam it instagram and twitter and last but not least f uh, check me out in the web bot chat room uh, we've got over 1700 people uh, across th three chat rooms so you know you can come holler at me we got Mike B in there uh, T T I think I'm saying it right T Joe T Ho I think T Joe 
is in there as well. The uh, Arcane uh, Bear. Um, so yeah, come check us out. I hope I'm saying his name right. I'm butchering it. Uh, please forgive me if I do. But that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Crypto Blood. I'm out. Holla.